hey guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can use our bits cloud platform to automatically deploy your react or angular based applications to a linux server we will be also setting up the server and github account so that any commit you make on github is automatically pulled compiled and deployed live using our platform so let's get started so for this video i'm going to launch a new linux server using our platform and then we'll connect that server to our github project in order to launch a new server i will log in into our existing bits cloud account so yeah i'm logging here once i have logged in i'm going to launch the server click on new environment and because we are going to have a normal webpack html application so i am just going to launch an nginx server okay i'll scale up the limit a bit like about 20 cloudlets and yeah just click on create So the server is now ready for me to use you can see this is the environment we have an application server inside it and inside the application server this is the linux node and this is the private ip address assigned to the server and when i click on web ssh i will get a nice terminal to the server so next step is to create an ssh private key and public key so that we can use that key to connect github account i'm going to create a new folder to store the ssh key pair so i am mkdir ssh keys okay and then i'm going to use the ssh key gen command i'm copy pasting the command here okay i will be using current directory to save okay no password and then we have a nice key and secret key and public key Appear in the current directory next step is to add the private key in the server and we will assign the public key in our gitlab account so let's start with the private key this is my private key i will just use the control panels file browser to copy the private key i'm clicking on this config icon and then we'll go to the home, home directory here it goes so in the home directory we have this folder ssh keys that, that we just created and then inside that folder we will have that keys so i can just click on id underscore rsa which is the private key So this is my private key here i'm going to select all copy and then i'll have to paste it onto my control panel so for that i'll click on my username go to settings and then we have ssh keys here and then go to private keys Add private key enter a name so for github paste the key and click add so we have the private key here next step is to add the public key into our github account 
so let me show you the github account first this is the yeah this this is the github repository which we are going to connect with our server it's a react app so let's see going back to our control panel into the environment we have our public key this is id underscore rsa dot pub so i'm going to copy it now copy and then i'm going to the github account settings and ssh keys new ssh key and then i copy paste the key here and this bits cloud so okay and then hit on add ssh key so as you can see my public key has been added to the github account now next is the most important step we will be adding our github repository to the server for that i will go back to my repository and then we'll copy the ssh url of the repository and then go back to server on the server we have this deployments option under the node so click on deploy from git under the repository option click on add new repository and name it copy paste paste the url here which we copied from github account and then make sure the branch is correct let me double check so our branch name is main here we will enter that name here main and then we'll use the authentication we have the ssh key and we already added the private key here so we added the private key and then click on add okay so far so good next step is to deploy the project so we just added this github repository now let's fix the branch again it will be main and the path is by default root this is not the root directory this is a root folder inside the web root folder so i can quickly show it to you let's go back to the file browser in the directories so we go to var then triple w then we have this st sorry we have this web root folder and inside that we have the root directory so by default the application is published on this folder but because we have to compile this application this is a react application so we will create a new directory here and name it source okay now go back to the deployment git will select the github repository branch is main and the path is source okay that's it so for testing i am not going to currently use set up this pre deployment and post deployment hooks currently we just will go ahead and click on deploy and see how it works so as you can see the deployment process is successful and now i i can see the files let's see this source folder that we created and we have all the source code here from the gitlab sorry github into the server so that's a success
okay now we need to compile the application because this is a react application react source code so it cannot be deployed directly we need to compile it and then we should be able to run it so in order to compile it let's go back to the web ssh and let's browse look to the source directory here which is this one i will copy it and i will go to the terminal and paste that folder so as i can see we have the source code here i will try to compile it let let's see if the npm works npm i and it says that npm is not installed so let's go ahead and install the npm application to install npm i will copy paste the command so this command can be found in the video description so here's the first command that will pull the script okay the next command i'm going to copy is this one and we have install no so for the nvm to work i will have to kill this session i will duplicate a new session and then go to the source directory again okay so now i can run the nvm install node okay and then i can try and install the npm dependencies of the project so it's working so as you can see now the dependencies has been installed now i will try to compile the application so npm run build this is a react app however the same thing can be applied to angular application or any other npm based application so the compilation is working so as you can see the compilation is completed successfully and we should be having the build folder now let's see ls and then there's the build folder we have here it is so let's get into that and let's see so we have all the compiled files here i will copy go ahead and copy these files to the root directory and hit enter oh sorry yeah this is the wrong command and okay so the copy command worked now i should be able to browse uh, the root folder let's see so i'm going to application server config we'll go back to web root and then the root directory so as i can see all the files are here if you are not seeing the files just try to refresh the browser the file manager and you should be able to see those files here so at this point we should be able to browse the project now from public as a public website so let's try to open in browser so as you can see the project is now running in the browser successfully so far i am able to connect my github project with the server pull the source code from the github account and compile it and run the project from a public browser so far so good but as a developer i would like to automate this whole thing right so whenever i commit something 
on github it should be automatically pulled to the server compiled and everything should go live without me doing anything How so for this i am going to utilize the pre and post configuration hooks of git deployment so for that under the deployments this is the source deployment and then we go to the edit here we see the hooks option so i have configured a pre configuration hook here these commands will be available in the video uh, in the description of the video so this is a simple command before the deployment we are going to the root directory web root directory deleting the source directory if it exists and then creating a new source directory after the deploy is done these are these are the post commands after the deployment so we go to the source directory we install npm dependencies we compile the application then we go to the root application root directory we remove everything from the root and then we copy everything from the build directory to the root directory so this is the command and then we can try it uh, we can check if it's working or not then so i'm going to close this pop-up and then click on this update from git command so let's see if there's no error then we can go ahead and do some change on git and see if that change is automatically applied to production or not now we should be able to test the entire setup so what i'm going to do i'm going to github repository and going to make some slight changes so on the production website let's say we have here username one let's try to change this one to two go to i'm going to the source directory and then Okay, so let's go to login.js. We have the source code here. We have username one label here. I'm changing it to username two. Okay, sorry. I will have to click on edit this file. okay let's make it username space 2 okay and then password space 2 and then I'm going to save commit the changes okay so the changes are done and these changes are on the main branch so I'm just going to refresh this page right now let's see if the change is here so nothing is here for now then i'll go back to my control panel and then click on update from git okay yes let's wait for so the deployment process is now completed again so the no new changes we made in the username and password field should be live now let's see so i'm going to the website and i still see the old code here i'm going to refresh the page and let's see so as you can see i have username 2 and password here that means the code from the git automatically got compiled and hosted on the live server okay so that's all this is the whole process it's as easy as that no complications just a few commands just a few configurations and automatic deployment so easy thank you so much for watching this video goodbye <laughs>